this part of the tutorial. Again, this is kind of the other way around, so I probably suggest you watch this part first. And I'm probably going to put this as part 1 anyway, so in the next part I'm going to say I'm going to put this after, but it's actually before. I don't know why I did it this way, but uh, this is how it is now. So, you are going to head over to this page, python.org downloads. I'm going to put a link in the description, and you are going to download Python. Uh, this is this might be a new version on uh, your page, but uh, my version I have 3.7.3. .3. Once you have this installed, you are gonna get or head over to this page again, link in the description. Uh, you are gonna go scroll down to installing, and if you want voice support, you're gonna pick this one. If you don't want voice support, you're going to pick this one. Uh, I suggest just picking this one so you have voice support in case you want it. Uh, but if you know for a fact you're not going to use voice, just use this one. To install this, you're going to go down here and search for Python. Then you're going to hit open file, uh, placement file container, file location, whatever it's called. Uh, and then do the same here. Once you're in your Python folder, go to scripts. In the scripts folder, you are going to copy the location path. Close up here. Then you're going to open a CMD. So, I'm going to go CMD. And run as admin. Once you are in here, you're going to type cd for change directory, space, and then paste in the directory to scripts in your Python folder. Press enter, and now you can see we're in that directory. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type pip install dash u discord pi voice or pip install dash u discord dot pi. So what you could do is just copy this, paste it in here, and hit enter. Mine is already installed, so it's telling me this nothing uh, new really. It's telling me I can update, but I haven't looked at the update log for the uh, discord.py, so I need to see if it has any implications. But once this is installed, uh, you can just close this up. Don't really need this page anymore. I'm going to go to the uh, documentation here. Uh, then you are going to restart your IDE. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. And once that is done, your bot should work just fine. And again, this is something I wrote in the last episode. Uh, except this. I'm going to show you how uh, what this does in the next episode, so uh, probably in the third episode. I know it's a bit confusing, but in the third episode I hope to go a bit more advanced, but uh, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.